guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am veronica and i'm back with another pick a card tarot reading for you Yay! and this one is going to be again for all my single friends we will take a look into your love life and find out what is coming next in your love life after watching this video, make sure to check out one of my previous readings over here. It is all about when will you meet that next romantic partner. So if you want to know the dates, the months, the juicy details, I will link it in the description box so you can watch this video first and then you can watch the other one. Before we are going to go to the card selection, I just quickly want to announce the winner of the private reading giveaway. And the winner will be shown over here. So congratulations. I will contact you on Instagram and I can't wait to do a reading for you. And if you guys would like to win a reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you have been watching my videos but you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You have seen me already a couple of times, just hit that subscribe button. Since this reading is a general reading for a lot of people, a lot of people are seeing the same pile as you and hearing the same message, so please make sure to just take the message that resonates with you the most, that fits your situation the most. If you guys would like me to focus on your specific energy and get into more details with your situation, I do offer private readings and the link for it is in the description box. Okay, let's just go to the card selection. So this is card selection, guys. This is a group number one with wave of power, group number two with water flight, group number three with beauty, group number four with sisterhood. So as always, guys, what I want you to do is to focus on the inflow and outflow of your breath for a couple of minutes, couple of seconds. That will let you connect with your intuition and calm your mind. And because of that, you'll be able to choose the right pile for yourself. So please Please feel free to pause the video right now if you need more time. If you already chose your pile, the timestamp for it will be in the description box. So look for it, click on it, and then I'll see you in your reading. And we're going to start with the group number one. All right, group number one. So if you guys chose the card Wave of Power, this is your reading and let's see what's happening in your love life. All right, group number one. So as always, we're starting with tarot cards and later on we will take a look into the oracle cards and for you guys i'm pretty sure we're gonna also check um the zodiac sign or like rising sign of the person that's coming towards you because i do see that someone is coming towards you guys so the thing is um i do see that someone is coming this person is a king of cups and i do think this is going to be mostly a water sign so it gives me like a can Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio vibes. They don't have to be, but they definitely have a lot of this, a lot of water in their chart. I do see that it's someone with this King of Cups that is offering you love and they want to um, build a stable relationship with you. I don't think it's someone that just wants a fling, just wants a romance. I do see that they do want to offer you their love and they want to um, take this relationship onto the next level and make it uh, more serious. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, but I definitely see there's a lot of romance involved. I do see this person being extremely romantic. So that's pretty cool. But I also see guys with the six of pentacles that the energy exchange, because to me, the six of pentacles is always representing energy exchange. Also a couple of different things as well. But if it comes to relationships, if it comes to romance, if it comes to love, I do see that the energy exchange will be equal, which basically means uh, that whatever you will give that person, you somehow will re get, get something back in return equally, uh, which is great, which is good because uh, we don't like it when, you know, one person is giving their best and the other person doesn't care or the other person is not um, anyhow giving the energy back. So I do see that this relationship is going to be very equal, very fair towards you. And it is someone that is extremely caring. Um, and I do see that it's also a person that is extremely generous. Um, the thing is, guys, we have the world in reverse. So I do see with the world in reverse that you have to complete some sort of 
chapter first before mm, meeting this person. It really makes me feel like there is some unfinished business and you have to take care of it. And I feel like we can find out more about it in the Oracle card. So we will see where we, uh, what else we have. Um, in this area of your life, what, what is this unfinished business? It makes me feel like it might be someone that you are still hanged on, uh, hanged up on. English. Ugh. <laughs> you guys didn't know English is my second language. Uh, so sometimes I'm like just uh, talking um, nonsense. But yeah, anyway, I do see that there is something that you guys have to kind of like leave behind or someone that you have to leave behind. You have to finish some sort of uh, chapter in your life. I just saw 1111, so that is definitely a confirmation that you guys have to just leave something behind. I also have the page of wands for you, so that makes me feel like you might meet this person um, when you will be just doing something creative. Or this is just telling me that your person, this person is coming towards you that wants to offer you love and attention, a lot of attention, I do see that as well. Um, is interested in a lot of things that you are interested in. So your interests are very similar. Uh, maybe that's where you will meet them. But also, as I told you guys, you can check one of my previous videos about when and how you will meet uh, that next romantic partner. And as I said, it's going to be in the description box in the comment section as well. But I do also see with a page of ones that there will be this intimate attraction between you guys. You definitely will find them um, extremely attractive and they will find you extremely attractive as well. So, you know, like attracts like. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have for the Oracle cards. Can't wait. Ooh, what? Okay, engagement. Okay, engagement. Your love life is uh, ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so with this card, it makes me feel like this person is super, super serious about you and this relationship. Wow, okay, engagement so quickly. We also have attraction. So yes, definitely there is a very strong attraction between you guys. As I mentioned before, um, you're attract you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Follow your dreams. Okay, this makes me feel like um, it's connected with this page of wands. You following your passion, and maybe that's when you will meet that person. Because I do also see that they are extremely passionate about what they're doing. They have a lot of interests, and they love learning more and more. Um, so follow your passion, whatever your intuition is telling you to do. Maybe you have this big dream and you want to follow it. And maybe that's where along the way you will meet this next romantic partner. It makes me feel like they really engagement, you know, they want to be really serious with you. This is not just a fling. This is just not just a romance. Okay, we have spirituality. Interesting. So I feel like this one is talking about the fact that you guys uh, maybe we'll be seeing a lot of 77 or number seven when you will be like meeting this person, when you will be about to meet this person. Also that your person might be very spiritual, but I think another message is here that you have been trying to manifest this person into your life through maybe scripting or meditation. You've been mm, kind of envisioning, you know, imagining that person. I feel like the person will be very close to what your ideal you know, relationship would look like, what your ideal partner would look like or act like. Ooh, because I do see with the King of Cups, as I told you guys, that this person is very emotionally invested and they are there for a long run, okay? They don't want to have a flink, as I was saying. So I do see it's going to be someone that you have kind of dreamed of. And group number one, I am extremely, extremely, extremely honest in my reading. So your group looks amazing. If there was something, you know, bad, I would tell you, and I'm not saying that your person is perfect, but I do see a very, very positive message for you. Um, okay, we have pride. Okay, as I was just mentioning that I'm super honest, here it, here it is, guys. Here it comes, we have a pride card. So this one makes me feel like you have to swallow your pride. So you have to understand that you are not always right. 
that is the message that is coming through, guys. Maybe something that you had to hear. I definitely feel like this is connected with this person. So maybe there is something that you have set your mind on. Um, and it's very hard for you to change your opinion, but I do see that you have to swallow your pride and stop maybe obsessing and trying to control every aspect of this relationship, of this upcoming relationship, okay? And just admit that you are not always right. Okay, T, okay, T. <laughs> uh, right, so we have star mother. How can you mother yourself? Hmm, okay. So this makes me feel like you guys have to start with yourself before meeting this person. You definitely have to focus a lot on self-love. So maybe lately you have been just really trying to find that person, manifest that person, as I was mentioning before, and you have been putting a lot of energy and time into it. And I think the spirit is reminding you that you have to focus on self-love first. So do something to mother yourself. And also I think this is uh, a message for you guys to prioritize yourself uh, over the, you know, the person that is coming into your life. Um, as I said, there are always some pros and cons to the situation. So I do see a very strong attraction, but I do see this unfinished business as well, guys. And maybe this is talking about you just um, focusing more on yourself uh, and the fact that you have to pour into your cup first before you're going to try to help other people or open uh, your heart, your space uh, for another person to enter your life. Maybe there are some things that you still have to finish. Um, maybe it's your mental health as well. So these are the messages that are coming through, guys. Okay, we have you are rare and free, group number one. There are not many like you. So again, prioritize yourself. And um, yes, we do have this pride card. You have to see the other uh, point of view, the other perspective, but always prioritize yourself, your needs and self-love. And don't let anyone to take control over your life because you like someone so much, you will do anything to be with them. Okay, that's the message that's coming through. Oh, you guys have four monology cards. So let's, let's see. A new start is coming, just the confirmation that a new relationship is coming. You also have a new romantic cycle again, so this can't get any better, guys. New moon and Libra. So your person might be a Libra, rising, moon, or Venus, or sun sign. Uh, we also have Gemini. Okay, Gemini, communication is the key. So make sure to speak your mind, guys. Don't think that people read your mind, okay? Not everyone reads your mind. Maybe you can read someone else's mind, but... Not everyone can, okay? And we also have Taurus, which is interesting because I was sensing a lot of water energy, but maybe they do have a lot of water, but they might not be necessarily like a zodiac sign water. But anyway, we also got Taurus and it says, your dreams need a practical plan. And that makes me feel like it's somehow connected with your interest, with what you do, um, with your passion, basically. I feel like that's when you might meet that person, when you will be pursuing your passion, giving all best into uh, your passion, all the effort and energy into it. All right, guys, that's all that I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It really helps me out a lot. And leave a comment down below. I love chatting with you. I love reading your comments and I always try to respond to all of them. As I mentioned before, I do offer private readings and the link for this is in the description box. Make sure to check out one of my previous videos over here for more juicy information or the one that I was telling you guys about at the beginning of the video. It's all in the description box and in the comment section. Take care guys, thank you so much for joining and bye. Okay, group number two. So you guys chose the card water flight. Let's see what's coming next in your love life. I have four cards in front of me just to start with the tarot cards and later on we will be checking the oracle cards as always. So 
um, make sure to stay until the end to get all the juicy information. Okay, let's just get into it. So you guys have the King of Cups, just like the previous pile. Uh, you guys have the King of Cups, which tells me uh, there's someone coming into your life and it's a King of Cups. The thing is, guys, I do see that this person is either quite popular, even famous for some of you. I do see them just having a lot of attention. There's a lot of like attention um, going towards them from the people around them. So it makes me feel like they're definitely somehow popular. Um, I do also see with a six of wands that they are extremely uh, generous and giving, but I do see with a five of swords, oops, I do see with the Five of Swords that uh, there's like a competition. There are a lot of people interested in them. So it makes me feel like you might be the person to uh, reach out to them first. Uh, but I do see a potential in this in this relationship. I'm not saying straight away that you guys will be together. I just see that there is someone that you really like. Maybe you already know who it is. It is a popular person. They might be like, as I was saying, kind of famous, or they might be just popular in your school, popular uh, uh, among your friends, your group of friends. I also see with the nine of pentacles that you guys have been uh, single for quite some time because nine of pentacles to me represents a single person, like someone single, someone that works a lot and focuses a lot on their uh, finances, on their business, on their career, because they are the people that are taking care of it. They are building their own success. Uh, so I do see you guys being uh, this person and I do see you being very interested in someone that other people are interested in as well. So let's see what we got for you guys. From the romance cards, we have flirt. So you definitely will be flirting. There definitely will be a connection because both of you will be flirting with one another. And you know, King of Cups is a quite flirty guy. Yeah, definitely charming. Uh, might be potentially a water sign, but we will also check the zodiac signs in a second to see exactly what we got. But I do see this person just have this charm. That's why a lot of people are very drawn to them. I feel like also this person is very competitive, even though uh, there is a lot of competition, as I was mentioning. I do think they are competitive themselves. So that's what they actually could be doing for a living, just doing something um, in a very competitive field. So they, they also are giving me kind of like a fire vibes, fire vi fire sign vibes, but we will see what we have. So, ooh, very soon, okay. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. With the very soon card, it makes me feel like you soon will be talking with this person, getting to know this person a little bit more. Uh, it will happen definitely very soon. So if you guys don't have anyone on your mind yet, I do think that someone soon will come your way. Okay, we have listening to wisdom. So this is just an extra card. This is what your spirit guides are telling you about. I think this is saying the advice from the spirit guides here is that you have to listen to the advice of maybe people around you. I feel like someone might be giving you a very good advice on something that has to do with this person, or they're even giving you advice just in general about love or what you should do, um, etc. And I do think you guys should listen to it because it feels like it's very, it's pretty much connected with this person. So listen, okay, listen. That also could be representing your spirit guides trying to reach out to you and show you maybe the best possible way to meet this person. Listening to wisdom. Okay, so we also have the card you can go back to yesterday. Um, be in the present. I feel like this is just saying that even though you have been single for quite some time, because that's what I'm saying with the nine, nine of pentacles, maybe you guys have had just very nasty, you know, exes, relationships, past relationships. So this card is just saying that you should not be comparing your previous relationships with the future relationships. Just because you only used to date nasty people, uh, it doesn't mean that, that you still will be meeting only people that um, 
don't have the purest intentions towards you. So this is talking about the self-limiting beliefs that you guys might have and the fact that you have to drop them in order to uh, move along, in order to meet this person and give yourself a chance to love again. Hmm, okay, so what else we have? Okay, we have share your voice. This one says, come out of the cave persecution expression. So I do think this is talking about standing up for yourself and uh, speaking up, uh, telling what's on your mind, maybe telling this person that you like them. It makes me feel like you should be the person to make the first move and also that you should be yourself because that is something that they will like you the most for. Uh, they don't want you to, I mean, they don't want you, just the universe doesn't want you to pretend to be someone else um, just be yourself, express yourself like you would with your best friend. Uh, so don't be shy, come out of the cave and just be brave and make the first move. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, new beginning. So I do think this is a sign that this has a lot of potential, that this relationship has uh, a lot of potential for the future new beginnings so it feels also like it's a new person so it might be someone that you have met recently or someone that you will still meet very soon all right we have synchronicity so i feel like this is when the universe is trying to communicate with you through the synchronicities to push you forward uh so pay attention to what uh, you're thinking about currently when um, at the moment when you're seeing the synchronicity uh, it might give you an, adv an advice or idea uh, about what to do next or you know how to act etc um, or an answer answer any of the questions that you might have so we have the card Pisces as I was saying, it might be a water sign. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. It just depends. This is a reading for a lot of people, so I gotta say that, guys. We also have a Libra. Your person might be a Libra. Um, okay, we have a card, be bold and make the first move. So as I was mentioning, maybe you should be the person to reach out first be brave and we also have capricorn so pisces libra or capricorn and that is all that i got for you guys if you enjoyed this reading please make sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet leave a comment down below let me know how this resonated made you feel i love chatting with you guys in the comment section as i mentioned before i do offer private readings and also check out one of my previous videos up here or the one that i told you about at the beginning of the video which is in the description box and the comment box. Hope to see you guys next time and have an amazing day. Take care. Bye. All right, my beautiful group number three that chose the card beauty. This is your reading and let's find out what's coming in your love life. All right, group number three. So we're starting this reading off with four tarot cards as always, per usual. And later on, we will be checking the oracle cards as well for more information. So, all right, I just got to say, don't be mad at me for what I'm saying. I'm just a messenger, okay? And um, I'll, you know, I'm extremely honest in my readings, guys. So this is a little disclaimer, don't be mad at me. But I do see that someone is definitely coming into your life, guys. But I'm not, I'm not sure with the cards that I'm seeing that this person wants anything serious. It makes me feel like they just want a fling, they just want a romance, they just like the way you look. Uh, and they want to get to know you closer, um, you know, in a more intimate way with this Queen of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Wands. So to me, the Knight of Wands is very often a guy that just comes in into your life and then leaves very quickly as well. So he comes very quickly and he leaves very quickly because he has his mind in the clouds. But, you know, he's the type of person that it's just so interesting like this person is so energetic they have such a cool interest they are like very creative um they put themselves out there very often it makes me feel like it could be a fire sign but don't have to be i also will doesn't have to be 
I also will be checking the zodiac signs later on, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I do see that it's just someone that you are feeling so attracted to because that person is just, wow, so intriguing, so interesting. But it makes me feel like they just come in and they, 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 they just move later, move on. Because after spending some time with you, there are so many different things that they want to see, so many different people that they want to still date. I don't think this person is looking for stability. So obviously, guys, it's up to you. No judges. If you want to, you know, hang out with that person for a while, you do you, boo. You do you. With a queen of wands in reverse, that's another confirmation that is just telling me that, you know, they're not taking it seriously. I'm, I'm saying it, guys, because... Uh, I don't want you to fall for this person so deeply and then be very disappointed. But I definitely uh, have to tell you that this is not for a long time. This is just a romance. Um, yeah. With a queen of wands in reverse, it tells me that they they do see you as a very, very attractive person. They do like your personality as well. But again, it's not for a long time. With the ace of pentacles in reverse. I don't see this long term with the six of pentacles in reverse. That's like an equal exchange of energy. So maybe you want more and they don't. Maybe it's actually vice versa. Maybe you don't want more and they do. So it's definitely like you guys have different priorities. Um, even though this person is just like, wow, wow, like who is this? You know, you definitely will fall for that person. That's what I'm seeing but I want you to know how the situation looks like. Maybe you already fell for that person. Maybe you are flirting with that person right now. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want you to know what's going on here because we have the card beauty. You guys chose the card beauty, which makes me feel again that they're very pretty, that they're very handsome, that they're very attractive and you just like the way they look. It makes you feel like this person is just like, um, so perfect, you know, so perfect. So let's see where we have leadership. So I do see, yeah, definitely, that this person has a lot of fire energy in their chart, a lot of fire personality traits. So they definitely are very confident and you really like that. Yeah, we have the fire, the fire, the red energy here, the red color. It really makes me feel like they're extremely confident in themselves and that's something that is just, you know, super hot and you really like it. And there's a lot of like just attraction here. Um, another red card. Okay, so this one says self-love. I do think this is just saying that you have to put yourself first. So think about how will you feel when this person will leave you? Will you be okay with it? If yes, then you know, go ahead. But if you know yourself and if you know that it's going to be a very hard, it's going to be very hard for you to move on, um, then put yourself as a priority. Okay, self-love. Um, focus on that, guys. We also have the cards. All right, so we have the card worth waiting for. I don't think this is talking about this person as in, oh, it's so worth waiting for this guy, you know, this girl. Uh, just let them go, just let them explore. And I'm gonna wait a couple of years for that person to come back and be together. No, I, I feel like this is just saying that there is someone else for you and maybe it's the best to skip this person or not take this relationship so seriously because someone else is coming your way and it's worth waiting for that person. That person is worth wait, waiting for. We have heart to heart conversations. So I do think that you should at least tell this person, this guy, this girl, um, what you expect or have that deep conversation with them, heart to heart conversation and ask them what do they expect from this relationship? What do they want? Um, how do they want this to look like? Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Um, whoa okay we have trust and niggle oh okay and this one says what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you so you guys have a feeling of that about this person you know them you even though you might not know them that well because i i kind of feel like this person kind of comes into your life and goes um even though i'm getting a message right now that it might be someone that you you used to be friends with or you guys have been friends for a long time romantically wise, I don't think 
it's gonna last once more but you might have a feeling about it know about it that this is not going to last but you still want to try because something is just connecting you with, with this person so deeply on such a deep level that you still want to give it a try and if you do go ahead as i told you guys i'm not going to tell you what to do i just want to want you to know what's going on we also have the uncertainty card so yeah that makes me feel like around this person you will feel uncertain about this relationship and that's another sign if you are you know feeling uncertain at the moment and you are kind of in a relationship with someone but not for a long time or you are about to get into a relationship i feel like you will just feel very uncertain uncertainty Okay, we also have speak your mind. So another card that is talking about just you guys honestly discussing your feelings with that person. As I and as I said, just your expectations. So speak your mind. Um, maybe you're just expecting them to realize what you want, uh, etc. But you know you have to tell people definitely this person how you see the situation. So speak your mind tell them honestly how you guys feel and uh, zodiac signs what do we have we have a gemini card okay gemini so sun moon rising or venus as this is for a lot of people so just take what resonates guys we also have aries yes this is giving me such aries vibes so even though that person doesn't have to it's not going to be aries um as rising or zodiac or so I, I'm getting such a strong feelings of Aries for some reason. Aries, not even Leo. It makes me just like feel like Aries or Sagittarius. Um, okay, so this one is not a zodiac sign card. However, we have a card step out of your comfort zone. So with this card, I think this is saying that once again you have to speak your mind even though it's not easy even though you don't want to talk about that subject with that person maybe you guys already are together or you don't want to ruin the uh, ruin the relationship that you have built so far if you have a feeling that you know this person is not maybe honest with you that their intentions are not genuine with you i do think that you have to step outside of that comfort zone and talk to them about how you feel and that's all that i got for you guys thank you so much for joining please make sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below let me know how this resonated made you feel i love reading your comments and responding to your comments i also have private readings as i told you guys at the beginning of the video make sure to check out one of my previous readings or the video that i told you guys about at the beginning of the video as well about when will you meet your next romantic partner thank you so much for watching have an amazing day and take care bye Hey group number four, so if you guys chose the card sisterhood, let's see what's coming in your love life. Okay, group number four, so as always I have tarot cards first and then we will check the oracle cards. That will also include the zodiac signs of your person and I say of your person because guys, you have such a great card. I'm so happy whenever I can give um, a very like positive reading. Oh, I just saw 44, 44. Mm. This is a confirmation that you guys chose the correct pile and honestly this looks amazing. Um, as I was telling all the other piles, I always am super honest in my readings, I don't sugarcoat and I'm just so happy to give such a positive readings, at least looking at the tarot cards. Okay. All right, let's do it. So you guys have only major arcata and you have the empress, you have the death card and you have the emperor. And the extra card that is in this deck is called the unknown card. Um, but yeah, what I'm seeing with this is that there is someone entering your life very soon, guys. I don't think you know that person. We have the unknown card. So it makes me feel like you don't know them yet. Uh, the death card is representing change. So there is a big shift, big transition coming into your life because of this person that is uh, entering your life. The emperor and the empress, they are together. Yay. <laughs> oh my God, I might look, um, I must look so ridiculous, but I'm just 
so excited for you guys. So the Emperor and the Empress, I do feel like the next person that will come into your life might be your future spouse to be honest make sure to check out one of my previous readings that i did about the future spouses there's like a lot of information there um just to make sure if this match or matches if this matches but check out it later i'm gonna link it up later okay at the end of the reading but yeah i do see that it's someone that you can potentially uh be uh in a relationship for a very very long time you guys can get married you can get engaged i definitely see that this person is expecting um a long-term relationship a serious relationship they want commitment that's the emperor i also see with the empress that they will be just so nice to you i do see that it's gonna be someone that first of all is going to be a very good friend to you with a sisterhood card it's not only going to be a romantic relationship you guys will be best friends which is amazing because you know at the beginning we do feel this attraction for the first x amount of months or years but later on a bit of it is kind of fading away so it's very important to be with someone that you know that you vibe with someone that you can trust someone that you know you guys can be best friends um even though you can also be you know romantic partners and have this uh attraction for one another uh but i do see with the empress that first of all this is a card that is signifying a birth rebirth uh like death card this is change and this one is talking about something new coming something new like birthing of of a new idea i keep on seeing synchronicities for you so this is crazy but the emperor the empress also tells me that this person is going to compliment you so much this person is gonna make you feel so good in your own skin um they will just see the beauty in you um inside and outside i do see that they will be just so loving towards you and it makes me so happy for you guys so wow this is so cute let's see what we have for the oracle cards that we have for you guys i just realized i didn't get one card for you here actually no one okay i didn't get a card from one deck for you but that's okay you already got such a cute reading you know you don't need more <laughs> So the first card that we have is let go of control issue. Let me see what else we have. Okay, it is safe for you to love. So I feel like these two are saying that you might be scared of love. You, another synchronicity. You might be afraid of love. Maybe because you got very, you were very hurt in the past. It's very hard for you to trust um new people um yeah it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of love uh, of all love uh, and also allow the situation to unfold naturally so it really makes me feel like you guys are trying to control the situation a lot because of things that have happened in your past you know which is understandable but i do think that these cards the universe are, is saying here that you have to stop maybe obsessing or even trying to like kind of like lock yourself in your safe zone um i feel like you're defending kind of like your territory and you're not letting a lot of people in um yeah the card says it's safe for you to love so i do see this person having such a genuine and honest feelings for you guys um so to allow this person to enter your life you gotta let go of the fear i think that's what it says okay we also have the card seasonal harvest so i think with this one you guys have been maybe thinking a lot setting intentions a lot uh for this person to come into your life so the seasonal harvest is just a confirmation that uh soon i feel like this is going to happen soon that soon you will be finally mm, reaping the rewards uh, maybe you have been working a lot um putting a lot of effort into healing your mental health etc um trying to kind of cut off um your past and let yourself to move forward and i do think that you guys will meet this person quite soon because the seasonal harvest just tells me that it's you will get the rewards uh very soon so what else we have for you guys change okay 
and the death card is also representing change so there is a big shift coming to your life guys uh with a person that is coming towards you there's a big change coming um whoa okay we have a karmic completion so you guys have done something recently that, um, that allowed you to complete a cycle a karmic cycle that you have been dealing with for some amount of time maybe that's why you were not able to meet someone um, that was genuine with you that treated you right um, someone that treated you fair um, you could not find that person and I feel like you guys maybe have done some ritual or whatever it was you maybe forgave yourself or forgave uh, the people your exes uh, and that oh my god another synchronicity <sighs> and, and you guys are probably like how can she see so many synchronicity synchronicities i'm recording the audio on my pc on the you know using different microphones so the audio is going to be better um and i keep on seeing because it's it's counting the minutes and the seconds and i constantly keep on seeing synchronicities for you like 51 51 okay so just wanted to clarify that if you guys are like why how how can she do that how can she see so many synchronicities but yeah with a karmic completion you guys have done something and you completed a cycle it let you complete the cycle and now you are able to finally move on so congrats i'm so happy for you um we also have deep replenishment retreat rest be held i feel like this is just saying that you guys have been alone for some time because you gave uh this time to yourself so you can fully heal so you can focus on yourself so you can focus on your mental health so you can focus on your career your education your friends your family and you were not very much looking for love because you were like okay i'm a boss i'm a boss babe right now and you know i don't i don't need no love and i feel like maybe that's when the karmic completion came because you let go you let go of control or if you haven't done that yet, maybe it's something that you guys still have to do in order to, for this person to come into your life. Yeah, but I definitely see that you spent a lot of time just on your own and uh, learning about self-love more, um, learning more about your mental health, um, just kind of getting to know yourself. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so yeah that's why we have the karmic completion card so let's see what we have your commitment is being tested okay so i do see with this that you guys have to keep on doing whatever you're doing because it makes me feel like you guys are going definitely a right way and the universe is kind of testing you just to make sure that you have learned the lessons um okay so the zodiac signs so the zodiac signs venus or rising or moon signs because this is a reading for a lot of people so please take that into the consider consideration that uh it could be you know one of them or all of them so yeah we have virgo your person might be a virgo um okay this is not a zodiac sign we also have cancer so virgo or cancer okay so earth or water sign that's what i'm seeing i'm getting very earth sign energy though with this emperor here um we also have the card what do you need to release so maybe there's still something guys that you have to let go of maybe it's a person from your past maybe it's your ex maybe it's a limiting belief that you have about love that love is hard to find that um you're scared of love you're scared of opening up so i do see that there's something that you guys still have to release in order to let this person come into your life thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check out one of my previous readings here's the one that i was telling you about at the beginning of the video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet it lets me know that you enjoy this reading and that you want to see more leave a comment down below i love chatting with you guys and getting to know you better i do have a private reading so if you want me to focus on your specific energy the link is in the description box for that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time take care bye